And we're here, starting in a place where was not where I ended, because I wandered around everywhere for a while and didn't really uh, find anything. So, not gonna lie, took a little peek at a walkthrough because I was uh, pretty stumped. And we have to do... I only saw what we had to do, like, right next, and I should have thought about it, but it was not clear. So what we have to do now is we don't get a ride anywhere. We have to actually look... You know those things that she was talking about in the Lesser Parfrige? If we uh, look at it, the St. Michael's, the Quaternity, and the Pythagoras, we have to look all that crap up on, on Sydney. So, uh, Quaternity? Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> Was it Quaternity? What did, what did I what did I write? What what did I do? Quaternity. Quat. Oh, quat. Not quad. Gotcha. I'm, I'm dumb. Generally means any group of four, but the term is almost exclusively in alchemy and geometry. So we have that. So it's four. Saint dot Michael. Saint Michael is one of the seven archangels in the Christian tradition. It is Michael who wrestles with the devil and wins. He's often depicted fighting a dragon or the devil in human form. In some accounts, he is the angel who threw Satan out of heaven at the time of the falls. As such, Michael is often called upon by the faithful to help them resist temptation and evil. Michael has various occult significances in alchemy. He is one of the four angels, along with Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel, who hold the four corners of the who hold the four corners of the world and who represent the four elements. So four I have an idea here. So now we have to do Pi didn't we look this up? Or was this when I was doing it myself? Like when I was looking through a bunch of crap. I think it was when I was like looking through alchemy or I was because like when, when we first did the Sydney searches I like went through like a ton of things just looking to see how far it went. It goes everywhere. Pythagoras. A Greek philosopher of the 6th century BC who found uh, founded a school and he believed me To the alchemist, Pythagoras regarded as the father of mathematical mysticism. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's a clue. So if we. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so. We have a circle and a thing, and then we have a circle with a line. There's more points. Okay, so there's more points. I have to keep... Because there's... The line with the circle. Now we need to add like a freaking triangle and stuff. Like, do we need to like? Okay, maybe it has to deal with the. F before I start going all crazy here and screwing this up, I don't think we necessarily need to have it as. Maybe we need to draw a triangle from starting at a point and going through. Maybe we need to... Oh, that's a lot of things to draw. <laughs> this is a lot of things to draw. Alright, so... 
All right, then let's just let's just let's just humor my humoriness. And we've got this. Is this one of the points of the triangle? If so, let's find out. I don't think I'm ready for that shape yet. So we need. Okay, so now maybe we need to use points. Maybe it's this. Well, the question is: Is it these two points or these? Now I gotta go back and look. I'm sorry that I'm doing this, but I. So. Do we use the points in the thing to make two triangles? Cause let's let's see. Let's let's I keep saying let's. Shut up, me. Um Because if you have this point, this point, would this point be one of the points? Right? Literally right here. Could we, with that, use a shape? I don't think I'm ready for that shape yet. Okay, so... Okay, I gotta be missing something, because there's something we need to do with this, obviously. Is there... Now do I add the other points on the map that I was thinking of? I know we need to add more points, I'm just not too sure where. Oh, late Hermitage. So we can stick a point there. Can't believe we're doing this again. So we have late Hermitage. Now we can... We need more points. F fair enough. But that would be the center point. Well, could we technically... Okay, let me clear these points. I'm trying to see how the points work. Can we go here? Like, here where they intersect, and here? And then scan that? Okay, because I was wondering if I add in new points that are over other points. Okay, let me figure this out real quick. Give me just a second. Uh, apparently F3 has something to do with this computer. So, I was messing around with stuff, and we can use shape, and then she says... I don't think there'll be another one of those on the map. And then she said with the, the, the triangle she can't use that, so... So we can use a square. So, the question is, is what do I do with the square? Does... Squaring the circle. So, do we make a square out of the circle? I am so confused. Do we use? So we do we use the point? Okay. Okay. I think I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. Gosh, I hope I'm getting it. So we can spin this around. I wonder if we need to make 
Can we put the fit the circle inside the square and then turn it? I feel like we're on the right track. <laughs> I just need to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, this and this these controls are freaking ass. Is this not a... Does, does it not fit correctly? Alright. So if you're... Trying to figure out where... So a square would go... So the square extends on the outside, but the middle lines reach the center of the circle. So... We need to make this bigger? Come on. Jeez. Oh, bigger? Spin this around. I'm sure that square is the right size, but I'm not sure what angle it's at in relation to the meridian. Maybe Taurus can help. Who the feck is Taurus? Who? What? What's Taurus? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> this is... What? Is it in here? Does she mean... Oh, okay. <laughs> How do I tilt the square? It says my friend knows the secret but wisely hides the fruit among the chaff. Who's my friend? Is it talking about the parchments again? So, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, what? How do I tilt the square? It says my friend knows the secret but wisely hides the fruit among the chaff. Who's my friend? Is it talking about the parchments again? Which what parchments? Can you be more specific? Which parchments? So I just tilt the square? Is that all I'm doing? Tilt it until I get it right. Yeah, I don't do anything else with the square. Ugh, can we... Oh, this is such an ass. The way it shifts is just terrible. Well, okay, well, I can't do anything else with the square. Wow, we're gonna, we're gonna have another 20 minutes of this, huh? Nice. All right, give me just a second. Oh my gosh, this part is so friggin' obtuse. All right, so we actually have to get out of Sydney this now. Oh man. This part is terrible. We need to leave. We need to go downstairs. I'm 
simply not up for another boring night in our room. And I realise this is not the Riviera, but surely something can be done. A little quiet would be good for you after today's excitement. And we can go over the... No, no, not that. My brain hurts already. I say there, Signore Bucchelli. Are you up for bridge? Con molto piacere. It would be a pleasure. Now what about a fourth? You there, miss... Oh, bother. It's... it's Grace. Of course it is. Won't you join us for bridge, Grace? Oh, no. No, no, thank you. Uh, why don't you ask... What about Mr. Wilkes? Where is Mr. Wilkes? I was just wondering that myself, Signora. I haven't seen him since he left the hotel this afternoon. What a bother. How unsociable people are these days. No manners whatsoever. <sighs> I say, Mr. Barza, would you join us? I would be happy to oblige. Let's get that fingerprint. While well, you guys walk away. No, I can't do anything. While well, you walk away. See you later. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Can I control my character, please? Yes. Yay. All right. Fingerprinting kit. Get. Fingerprint. Get. The a single print. Now, isn't that odd? That is a little weird. He doesn't have fingerprints. What? Also, you didn't see anything. Well, we need to get the fluff out of here. And we need to head down to the church. Oh, go oh goodness. Oh, boy. At least I think it was the church. I don't know. I had to read what we were supposed to do because this was just, it was bothering me. I was sitting there looking at a stupid screen, flipping around a square for like 40 minutes, and I had no idea what I was doing. Finally gave up. So we should be able to, there was a thing that, there was a thing that Gabe was able to do. I bet this is the statue Taurus mentions. How, when does it mention, mention, when does it mention, mention a statue? The four are the stuff of the alchemist's laboratory and there can't, right. There was four, four people, four, four. Maybe it's the angels, I think. Which one was this? According to the pamphlet, that's Rex Mundi, a.k.a. Asmodeus. Are there four of the big statues? No, there's a there's a ton of flipping statues. Um, nope, I can only trace from this statue. Oh, wait, is there only... No, there's... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right, so... Hmm... Those angels' gestures might not be what they appear. Let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, okay. Okay. So maybe it's the hands? Like this one goes up here. It's a tilted square. Yes. Was that what I needed to know? I bet this is the statue Taurus mentions. So, was that what I needed to know? Please don't tell me I have to go back up there to... So it's a tilted square. Please don't tell me now I have to go back to Sydney and do that. Oh, let's go faster, Grace. Go inside.
So now do we tilt the square? I don't know. Yes, as you can see, we're back here. All right. So... Yeah, was that where I, how I left it? I don't know. Um, oh no. Um, was that the way the square looked? Oh, I've, I've been running around so much my brain hurts. Yes. Okay. So now... We... We need to look around. Okay, so we need to put in some more points. And I'm trying to Would have been here and here again, or is it over here? Ah, oh, snap. No, oh, okay. No, I don't. Um, maybe it could be there? I don't know. Alright. Did I screw... what? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Center of circle, two degrees. Okay, so we've got 1847 and 5456. 1847 and 5456. Okay, let's clear the points. 18. Ah, oh, it doesn't show me as I'm. At 1611, 1616. Trying to find where 18 would be. Where is the 18? Okay, so 18 goes this way. So clear points. Enter points. 18, 47. That's. Seventeen four, eighteen twelve, I don't think that's it. I don't that doesn't that doesn't feel like it would be it. Oh, screw it. Give me just a second. Great! All right, Chateau de Ceres and the Point Meridian. Wherever the hell that is, those are our next points. I just looked it up. I don't even care. I don't even care. So, we have to find where is Chateau de Ceres. Right there. I guess. Is it right there? Or is it the, the church? And... Uh, is it here? Are those the two points? To the meridian blue apples. In other words, to the meridian from the vineyard. Yep. Yep, I I am too stupid to have figured this out. You line tangential to circle and intersects with features on the meridian. Great. 
Now do I mess around with this? Is there something else now that I need to look? Look at? No, now I need to turn the square. Or make a square. Yes, that must be it. Oh, that. That was painful. That was painful. That was painful. My brain would have never figured this out. That was painful and a half. I'm sorry that you had to come along with it. I don't even know how much time is left. Give me just a second. All right, we got four minutes to, to do something. So we have that. Now, does that change what this is? Oh, no. <laughs> I think the 64 stones represent a chessboard, a grid, or perfect cube of 8x8 eight eight blocks. It must go on the map somehow. So I have to grid it. Okay, so I have to make a grid now, apparently, right? Is that a grid? By 8x8? Eight by eight? On a grid? Alright, alright. Nope, don't want... Alright, so analyze. Draw a grid. Fill shape. 8x8? Eight That's eight. it! That's the chessboard. Way to go, kid. Hey, Gailey. You seen Madeline? Of course. She's under my bed. Huh? Ah, you're being smart, are you? Well, I just thought she might be with that fellow of yours. This is his room too, ain't it? Yes. Say, since Madeline's not around, you want to have dinner with me? Uh, no. Oh, come on. I got some celebrating to do. Hey, I'm going to be a rich man after what I've found today. You play your cards right. You might learn something. All right. I'll change and meet you downstairs. Really? Good, I'll... Uh... Quit it! Knock it off! Is this it? Just like I said, right? You said you'd explain it to me. I just don't understand all these technical things. Shouldn't have got me so damn drunk, man. <clears throat> oh, come on. I'm dying to hear your theory. Oh, no. Now, you, uh... You said this was taken by satellite? Damn right. Seisma... Um, uh, sisma... Um... Seismologists. Them. Right. They use radar to take satellite pictures all the time. Shows them underground forts and whatnot. No one ever thought to take one here, though, right? So when I sees one of these maps, I says to myself, John, I says, that's the ticket. And I was right, too, huh? <laughs> oh, so the radar bounces off the Earth and the echo is recorded. What? I mean, I guess. <laughs> right, right. So I pays to get one of these pictures done. And baby, I hit the jackpot. What's this dark area here? A big old hollow. What you think? Caves, right? But all connected. A huge mother. So you think this is where the treasure is? Nah, baby. The treasure's right here. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just got back and I was trying to, uh, what are you doing with Wilkes, Grace? None of your business. And, uh, don't wait up. I'm sure Mosley's back too and we do have that catching up to do. Hey, you asked for that, my man. That was all you. Here we have day three at 2 a.m. So uh, when we come back, I guess we'll start day three at 2 a.m. with this creepy ass image in our faces. So till then.
Y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.